BoxingVoice.com live with Coach Mike here. Coach, man, uh, you got a couple of fighters on tomorrow's card. You got a big, your big fighter in Adrian Broner going up against Paulie Malignaggi. You, you're starting to get that recognition. You, you're well deserved uh, for bringing up all these amateurs through the amateur rankings and now turning them pro and just having them shine. Um, what do you have to say for everything that you've been able to accomplish up until now and, and of course, having that elite stable that you're uh, grooming up right now? Well, as of now, as you know, like you said, with Adrian Brown leaving the pack, you know, it's, it's a wonderful thing that's, that's happening now. But, you know, you look at it, the past, uh, all these kids is coming up, and you look at this particular show tonight, to, or tomorrow, you know, it's, 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 this is like a, you know, we call it was like a national tournament, but now these guys are getting paid. So, you know, I just was, you know, I've been lucky to, you know, to have to have a good stable of guys. And I think uh, with, with the right promoters behind me and the right management teams, you know, we've been doing really good, good job with our kids, you know, so. Now, talk to us a little bit about uh, Jamal Herring. He'll be fighting tomorrow, Rashid Warren. I mean, uh, what, what sort of hand uh, game plans are, are set for these guys in, in, in these fights? Well, it, you know, at, at four rounds, you know, our thing is to, you know, we've been training hard and just use our skills, you know. Uh, right now, we don't know nothing about the opponent. You know, we, we don't, but, but the main thing is we'll make them fight at our level. The main thing, my guys, you know, we're going to push the guys to our level. Once you know, I know how hard they've been training, as long as we push them to our level, no one can, can take my guys right now. Speaking of your level, because you have so many up-and-coming, big-name fighters like Broner, Jamal Herring, Robert Easter, Rashi Warren, these names are names that are floating through the boxing world. Does that help them in training camp push one another, uh, you know, to go the extra mile, to do the extra sit-up, or, or, or last two extra minutes on the gym bag? Has it become an easier job for you to be a coach now since, of course, the limelight has come into play? You know, everybody wants to be in front of the camera, fight on the big networks. Right. Uh, and and that, that makes a good thing, you know, with the with the with the, all the talent that's, is in our camp. So we all push each other, you know, and. And it's just a fun job, you know, real fun job, you know. So make sure that everybody is really, you know, doing anything. It's, it's a fun job to do, you know. So it makes my job easy because, you know, my guys, I start them out young. And so now they're doing the things that I taught them when they was young. And so now it's filled it out as they turn champions, you know. All right, switching gears a little bit, let's get to Adrian Broner. He's got a fight coming up June 22nd for in Pauli Malinaji. Uh, a lot of the fans upset. They wanted to see Adrian Broner at 140 pounds. What do you have to say to those fans that still want to see him with the Lucas Matisse and the Lamont Petersons, the Danny Garcias of the world? Would he be coming back, or is he moving on to 147 to capture this world title and possibly face uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Well, you know, in the boxing world and in in so-called TV world and in, in the fans world, and, uh, you know, you got to take the best fight opportunity at that time, you know. And this is, at this time, is opportunity time, there was no one out there for us to fight. You know, we don't want to just fight a regular 10-round fight. We, we're world champion, so we want to fight another world champion. So this was only world champion was available because as t today you can see Matisse, he's fighting in Lamont, and it's just so many, uh, you know, so everybody got a date. So we wanted to get a date. And so once, once you get a date, you got to grab it. You just can't be sitting on the shelf. And Adrian is the type of fighter, he's ready to fight. He fight one night, he may want to fight next month or the next day because he makes the fight so easy. So you, you got to take the opportunity. And with his talent, he's young, you know, you, you got to keep him fighting. You can't put him on the shelf, you know. But was it a thing of availability of fighters or availability of named fighters? It's, it's a combination of both, you know. And, you know, we don't, like I said, we don't want to take a step back. We want to keep going. You know, Polly's going to be a Hall of Famer one day, you know, and, and we just got to keep going, you know. So, you know, that's, that's the thing, you know. It wasn't, we wasn't picking, trying to pick nobody. We just, hey, it came available. Polly signed a contract. We, we, we signed a contract, and it's a fight. Speaking of Polly, what sort of danger do you think that he presents for Adrian Broner in this fight? Uh, or you can be non-political and say the truth he's gonna whitewash Polly Malinaji. is that what you feel is gonna happen I'll tell you this only guy, only guy can beat Adrian Brown is Adrian Brown if, if Adrian's not training and not doing the things he's doing in the gym which you guys maybe don't see 
if he stopped doing them, them things, then we got trouble. You know, but with, what he's doing in the gym is spectacular. I mean, it's amazing. And with him doing the things, no fighter around, I mean, good. Come up and spar Lamont Peterson, Anthony Peterson at the same time. You know, he's you know, uh, spar Devin Alexander, uh, Brad Solomon, uh, fighters like that. You know, I mean, I mean, this this kid and this kid is unbelievable what he does in the gym. And so that 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 results uh, is is putting him in the numbers. What he's doing, he's knocking everybody out. So it probably just just in the way of what we're trying to do. You know, he's just in the way. That's what I put, put it like that. We ain't, I'm not going to say we're going to do this, do this. I'm just saying he's in the way for what we want to do. And what we want to do, we want to be the best. Your prediction, June 22nd? Uh, steamroll, knockout. Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs>